For the previous tutorial, we already know how to create a touch input for iOS or Android by using the Raycast, the Collider, and the Tag. Now we are going to add the HP to the object. Then tap this object, tap the object to reduce the HP by using the object HP script, and also we were using we will learn how to find the script outside the outside the current tap to break script. Let's go back to the Unity. Create uh, an object HP script in here, and uh, then we go back to the tap to break. We put uh, something called a smash function in here. Also for the content of the smash, we put. We need to do something for the smash. Find the object HP script. Bye. Okay, that's it. And uh, also we need to do when HP is a little higher than zero, what will happen? We should delete we should reduce the HP. If HP is less or equal than or equal to zero, then we are going to break the object. Okay. How we can find the the object HP script? We put a, a local variable in here, and let's call it a script one. And we will simply just put the object HP name in here because we already created object HP. And back to the Unity, and we also drag this object HP to the current object like this. Okay. So when user hit the collider, then we get component. Get the water component, get the object HP component in here. See there is anything wrong or what? Okay, nothing happened in here, so it's fine. So let's see how we make if HP is higher than zero, then reduce the HP. How we should do that? We put an if squid to one and uh, we access this access into this object HP script to get uh, the variable called the current HP current HP and uh, if it's bigger is higher than zero we will do something in here let's call HP reduced or maybe call damaged. So go back to the Unity and open the object HP. Then we should do something in here. So we should define some a variable called the current uh, HP. And the list will be the float. The initial value, let's say 100, 
If it's float, then you need to put the F in here. It's better. And also, you need to put it at least a one decimal. Go back to the tab to break. Let's simply just make it simple. If the script current HP higher than zero, when we hit the object, we simply just make the HP reduce. So current to uh, the current HP reduce let's say 10 point Debug in here, print current HP. This is the string we'll display inside the console menu, and this is the variable dynamically. Hit save, go back to the Unity to test again. Okay, hit play. So current HP is 100. If we hit, we got a hit. And you should bring out, uh, okay. Oh, there's one, something smaller thing wrong in here. We want to display the HP in here for a very simple way. Anyway. We'll just do a real quick stuff. We can see the current HP is 100. So if we hit the play button, see it will reduce to, to a lower HP. And the damage point is 10 points. So each time you hit, it will reduce 10 points until getting to zero. Because we didn't say anything or we didn't do anything to tell Unity what happened if HP is less than zero. So we go back to here. We don't need this one. So we copy this. So if uh, this one is less or equal to zero, then we'll do something. It's called uh, broken. We don't need hit right now. So just uncommon this one. Hit play again. So the HP keep reducing each time when you hit. So when it equals to zero or under or less than zero, it will happen broken. Will something happen like this? So we will break into pieces in here. Okay. 
so we know how to break up the how to reduce the HP in here let's do some a little more polish work let's see uh, okay we can do the polish work later like a uh, visual effects or the sound effects we can we, we can skip that right now 